Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Miss Toto. So today's video is, of course, a hair video. I'm actually doing my niece's hair and this is the first for both of us. As you can see, I'm showing you guys her hair. It's really long. Her hair is about 16 inches uh, waist length. Um, and she actually wanted a bob hairstyle. Well, actually an asymmetrical bob hairstyle. So you know what that means. That means that it would definitely have to be short braids. So we did end up pulling it off and I'm just showing you guys how I do that. I did use the rubber band method and then what I did was, this is the gel that I'm using, but what I did was um, I crocheted the hair, her own hair through the rubber band. And so I pulled it um, until I got it to a nice length and then I started to braid all of her hair um, down. And it just made it pretty much shorter, made it seem like her hair was shorter. And I used a lot of gel just to mold it to the braid and so it won't be like all bulky and sticking out. Um, and I just braided it down past her hair about an inch or two, probably, I think, I believe about two inches down. Um, so that way I can be away from her hair um, and it still be protected. But I braided about two inches down and then I would put a rubber band around it so I would know where to stop and where to actually burn the end of the hair. Y'all, this was quite an experience, but I'm glad I actually did it. She trusted me with her 16 inch long waist length hair um, to not burn it or cut it or anything. Um, of course I was nervous, but um, I still was confident and knowing that I was actually going to pull this off. Um, I was worried about how it was gonna look as far as like me having to fold her hair um, and make it blend in with the actual braid, but um, it actually did come together at the end and you guys will actually see that. So um, right here, as you can see, I'm just pulling the hair apart. I'm also blending it. Her hair is exactly the same color as uh, the weave, which was more difficult, but I was able to see um, where it was because her hair was flipped over itself. Um, we also used a darker color. I believe it was a 1B or a number two for the front. Like I said, this is the asymmetrical hairstyle. So um, her left side was shorter than her right. Okay, so right here, I've already started the burning process. I already know where her hair stops. Um, and I'm just cutting off the pieces that I've already burnt with the lighter. Um, some of the pieces were a little bit thick or I didn't burn them good enough. So I had to go back and actually reburn it after I did cut it because it started to unravel. So I ended up burning it and molding it um, to stay put. But as you can see, the right side of her hair, like I said, is the darker color, which is like a number two or one B. Um, and it falls longer than her left side. You can also see that it's starting to take shape. Even when I cut it, it like bends on its own. Um, and the older it got, the more it starts to curve more. And you will see that in the pictures that I will show towards the end. Okay, so I'm on the back. I already got the left side of her head done. I'm on the back and just braiding it down a little bit further past her hair. Um, and I really couldn't bend those over or have that bend effect because her hair was a little bit longer so it wouldn't curve under. It, cu it curved more to the left, but it still looked cute. It, it kind of looked like a wrap slash uh, bob action. I don't know, in the back. It still ended up looking cute because it still had that curve to it. 
All right, guys, so I'm almost done with this process. It took me no time to actually burn it and cut the ends. Um, I was actually happy about that. But the amount of time it took me, um, I want to say it was about six or seven hours. And it took me this long because, A, her hair is long. And me trying to make sure her hair is molded into the braid to where it looks more natural. Um, it was very difficult. And like I said, it was the first time for me definitely so, so we really had to uh, figure out how to make this whole process work but um, if you guys have any questions as far as like um, or suggestions saying hey um, I really want to see how you did this um, process in a more detailed or up close and personal type of way then just go ahead and leave a comment below and let me know So you see what I mean when I um, says it's curving over to the left instead of under and that's because her braids are well her hair is so long that I couldn't make it any shorter without you know damaging her hair. So I just left it as is which still looked fine and so now I'm working on the right side trying to get the length right um, to see if that's where she wants it to fall um, and once I do I'm just matching up the rest of her braids so it can all be the same length and fall the same way okay so I am finishing up I've already cut all of the pieces or all of her braids um, on the right side as well so I'm pretty much just trimming all the excess flyaways that's sticking out of her braids and just clean it up to make sure it looks really good and neat so y'all know the hairstyle isn't done until you put that good old mousse on the hair yes this is also helping me tame those flyaways and just give it more of a sleek look and shine and to just make it look more um, put together I am all done. This is the finished result of her H symmetrical bob. Isn't she cute? Um, so yeah, she got a lot of compliments on this hairstyle. People thought that she cut her hair and she was like, nah, -uh, I did not cut my hair. So it came out really nice guys. But I'm so proud of myself that I actually done it, it, done this. It was my first time doing it and she loved it. I loved it. And I can't wait to try it again. I would definitely do some things different um, the next time around, but I'm glad that I was able to actually accomplish this. So let me know what you guys think. Go ahead and leave a comment below, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And here's the finished pictures. And I will check you guys in the next video. Bye.